Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you a few techniques on my Chinese tam tam, otherwise known as a gong, although <coughs> this um, is a tam tam because it's flat. Um, tam tams are quite thick, they're made of quite thick metal, they're generally from Wuhan in China. And um, you can see they've got this lip. And I often get asked whether it's possible to bow a tam tam. And it is on paper, but I would say, generally speaking, bowing is about 100 times more effective on with suspended cymbals because you can really control a bit more easily what harmonics come out and the sound is like super rich and effective. Whereas on these bigger instruments where the metal is generally thicker, it is actually doesn't come out as well, the, the bow texture. So you can hear I'm getting that very high harmonic. And if I try and get a fundamental, it's quite difficult and it sounds it's quite a shriek, shrieking kind of sound, actually. Um, so it is possible, but it's not as effective as with um, a whole manner of all different size suspended cymbals. Now, um, other things that are effective on regular tam-tams, of course, are just um, rolling with mallets, a la John Luther Adams solo called Raw which is for solo tam-tam and electronics, really awesome piece. Um, the other thing that we can focus on is sort of playing on the rim versus two thirds on the gold bit versus the center. But as you can hear, it's quite subtle, the difference. Um, I could have a soft vibraphone beater in one hand and a um, hot rod in the other. that gets a lot of the harmonics. It's quite effective on the rim. Um, I could roll with two of these. I could have, say, a hot rod as my second mallet in one hand. And to dampen it, generally speaking, it works if I use my whole body or my bum. Um, and that is a way all, all my front, but it's a, it's a way to just suddenly stop the sound, which otherwise the sound does tend to build up and it is quite hard to stop just by placing your hand on the instrument. You can hear it, it does stop, but not like that sort of super toe uh, way. Um, the super ball, which I did use just before on my bass drum video, is really effective on a tam tam. I would say not as effective as a bass drum because it just tends to sound the fundamental pitch of the actual tam tam. So it's sort of like the equivalent of a long roll. You don't hear you don't hear the super ball on the head of the bass drum as much as you do on the actual front of the tam tam itself. Um, and otherwise, it can just sort of be treated like a a drum but it's quite a one dimensional drum. So if you were to use shafts,